Hi, my name is Phoebe and I work at Northside CYO. In this video, I'll be talking about hygiene basics for yourself, as well as how to keep clean inside and outside your home. Good hygiene, or being clean, is important for both physical and mental health. Bad hygiene creates an environment for germs to grow, making it more likely to get sick and cause other problems. Your kitchen is the place where many people come through and many things happen. But it is important to keep everything in your kitchen organized and clean. Here are some tips. Only store dry foods in the pantry and on the counters. Put rice and flowers in a plastic container or close tightly with a clip. Use the fridge for cold or perishable items such as eggs, milk, meat, and seafood. If you store meat or seafood outside, you can get sick or attract bugs and mice. Return your soda cans and bottles often. Don't put any food down the sink. Use a strainer, or else the sink will clog and the water will not drain. Don't pour grease or cooking oil down the drain or toilet. Don't leave the kitchen when you are cooking anything on the stove. Make sure that the burners are completely off when you're done cooking before you leave the house or go to sleep. In the bathroom, don't flush anything down the toilet that is not toilet paper, such as baby wipes or diapers. To prevent mold, keep the bathroom door open when no one is using it. When you are showering, try not to get the floor wet because it can damage the floor and even the apartment downstairs if you are on the second floor. A few other things. If you see free furniture outside on the curb, do not get it. It may look tempting, but it may have bed bugs. Make sure that you have smoke detectors with batteries and do not tamper with them. Keeping the outside of your house clean is just as important as the inside. Pick up trash on your lawn or on the sidewalks. Use the trash bins given to you and take the trash out every week. If your trash day is on Monday morning, you should put your trash out the night before on Sunday night. In the winter, when it starts snowing, it's important to shovel the snow. There are several reasons why this is important. One is safety. If you don't shovel, the snow may pack into ice and you might slip and fall. Two, common courtesy. If you don't shovel the snow, other people will not be able to walk on the sidewalks. This is important for people such as children who walk to school and people who use wheelchairs. Three, the law. The law requires you to shovel sidewalks or else you will get fined money. You can buy special outdoor salt to put onto steps or anywhere there is concrete. The salt helps prevent ice from forming. Good hygiene is important for living in the United States and is also good practice for your health. You should especially wash your hands before eating or after using the restroom. Make sure you wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds. This will help get rid of germs and prevent you from getting sick. Every day, dirt and bacteria collect on your body. By taking showers, you can get rid of all of this and stay clean and fresh. When you go outside, bacteria lives in the sweat on your underarms. Even if it is not hot outside, you can get sweaty and start to smell. By wearing deodorant, you will smell fresh. Wearing clean clothes is important to your hygiene too. Even if you wash your body, you will still smell bad if your clothes are not clean as well. If you use a drying rack or clothesline, do not leave them outside where other people can see them. Someone might steal them and try to steal other things at your house. In the winter, keep your drying rack and clothesline indoors. If you leave your wet clothes outside during the winter, they will get cold and freeze. When you eat and drink, bacteria gets on your teeth and in your mouth. By brushing your teeth every day, you keep your mouth healthy and prevent cavities and gum disease. You should brush your teeth twice a day, once before breakfast and once before bed. 
First and foremost, follow the trusted sources such as the CDC or World Health Organization for information. When wearing a mask, make sure you wear your mask correctly. Your mask should cover your nose. If you are able to get vaccinated, consider getting vaccinated to reduce the likelihood that you will get coronavirus and keep others safe. There are rumors about the vaccine. Follow trusted sources such as the CDC or World Health Organization. If you have any questions about the vaccine or feel ready to get your vaccine, talk to someone at CYO. Thanks for listening to this video about personal cleanliness and hygiene. If you have any more questions, be sure to talk to someone at CYO for any remaining questions that you have. Thank you.